Zane is officially out of the newborn stage, and let me tell you, it was a crazy ride. <laughs> channel welcome we're glad to have you here and we hope that you join our little family by clicking on the subscription button down below okay so Zane is officially two months old today and out of the newborn stage I wanted to share with you my 10 favorite things newborns don't really need a lot so it's more the stuff that is convenient for you so let's start off our list with number 10. So number 10 on the list is Johnson & Johnson's Bedtime Baby Lotion and Body Wash. I absolutely love this stuff. The smell is amazing. It makes Zane's skin so silky smooth and not to mention that the lavender in it actually promotes better sleeping and that relaxing scent doesn't just work on baby Zane. Let me tell you, it totally works on mom too. I will put a link down below in the description for this and all the rest of the things in this video for Amazon so you can just pick it up there. Now on to number nine. It is the Halo Sleep Sack. I love this sleep sack. I wish I bought like three or four of them, but we use this one all the time. Now I admit I was a bit of a skeptic about the Halo Sleep Sacks before Zayn was born and even when we went and got one my mom just kind of convinced me to get one and I'm so very glad that she did. I absolutely love this. It works nice as a blanket for him or instead of a blanket for him. I've never had a winter baby before. This is my first one and this has done the job. Also my favorite feature of this is the backward zipper. I don't know if you guys can see this but it actually zips from the top down so in the middle of the night when you need to change diaper you don't have to actually unzip it all the way that way he can stay warm so we don't have to start his entire nighttime routine all over again to put him back to bed now on to number eight Carter zippered jammies I'm starting to think that all of my items have to do with sleep I wonder why that could be but after Zane was on his billy light which I'll link that video up in the corner above he liked to stay incredibly warm and even with the sleep sack, with a thinner jammy, he was uncomfortable and wouldn't go to sleep. So we went to these Carter's jammies. And the reason I say the zipper jammies is, is because we had a couple of the button up ones, but in the middle of the night when you are exhausted as a new mom, you haven't slept and you're trying to fumble around and get those buttons done, it is a pain. So if you can find the zippered ones, this is my go-to item. These were my favorite ones that he wore as a newborn. They're super soft and cozy, so they stay nice and warm. If you have a summer baby, you don't necessarily need these, maybe for the first little bit while they still regulate their temperature. But if you have a winter baby, these are definitely a must-have. Now number seven, I've done a semi-review on it before in a What's in My Diaper Bag video but it is my Mrs. Fong diaper bag, which I will link down in the description below. Okay, everybody say hi to baby Zane. He's the whole reason we're doing this video anyway. With my other kids, I had diaper bags and they were okay, you know, I carried them, but they were never cute. And I absolutely wanted this bag because of that. And then I hoped that it would be functional. Lucky for me, it is both. I absolutely love this bag. It looks so cute and stylish. Plus it carries everything that I need for me and for Zane. I totally recommend it, especially for the $35 price tag. It was on special back when I did my video about what's in my diaper bag. I don't know if it still is, but you can find it between like $35 and $45 all the time. Now let's get... <coughs> Woo! Let's get on to number six. The Mamaru, which Zane will demonstrate for you. Yeah, it moves back and forth and has musical sounds that you can use on it to soothe your baby. I only paid $10 for mine. If you wanna know how I did that, I will put the link for that video up here. <laughs> did you need the spotlight? Did you wanna to talk to everybody? You want to talk to him? When Zane was on the Billy Light, the mom room was the only place where he could sleep. And since I couldn't hold him, it was kind of how he would get rocked to sleep. I cannot say enough how much 
it saved our lives at that point. And in fact, I said, if my $10 Mamoru breaks, I will go and buy another one flat out right now because it is the only thing that was keeping us sane. Now, as he's gotten older, he still loves it and he still sits in it, but I don't use it quite as much. So I would suggest that if you can, try and find one on Facebook yard sale that somebody's not using anymore. Buy it, you can get it for half the price or even less. Now, on to number five. Actually, I'm using it right now. It is this rocking chair. I will link in the description this exact rocking chair. We got this off of Amazon. This was a bit of a splurge, but this is a lifesaver. You guys, I cannot tell you how many times I have slept in this thing. This is what I am in all the time. You see me do tons of videos in this. I recommend getting one that turns and that rocks and that reclines because there are going to be nights you guys when you just know you're not going to sleep you're not going to get to your bed this is what you need to have number four is an item i was kind of on the fence about everyone i talked to had told me you have to get one of these and it is the rock and play i have not been disappointed zane he loves it in fact now as he's getting older, he actually likes it more than the Mamaru. I put him in there when I'm making dinner and it's breathable, he can sleep in it, it's comfortable, it soothes him because it goes up kind of around them so it makes him feel like you're holding him. It's a great product, I absolutely love it and everyone was right. It was one of those items that I could live without but I really don't want to. On to the final three. The next two items are items that we have been using literally from day one that Zane was born. The next item on the list is actually the Gerber onesies with the mittens. Zane really likes them. He has literally worn these onesies from day one. Zane really likes to have his hands in his face and babies don't know that those are actually theirs and when they scratch themselves they don't know why they're being scratched. So these are amazing at keeping those hands covered. I don't know about you, but every time I try the mittens, especially on a newborn, they fall off. They're just, they don't make them small enough for it to fit their, over their little hands and stay on. Okay guys, so Zane is actually using item number two right as we speak. It is the Advent Soothe Binkies. This is the only binkies that we have ever used with our children. And these are the only ones that they like to take. Yeah, you love them, huh? We do have a Wubba Nubba as well that he uses. Um, we use it more for in the car or at nighttime when I don't want his binky to just get spit out and who knows where it goes. I talked to my lactation consultant and she actually suggested using these ones because these are the most likely to not cause nipple confusion. So if you are nursing and you want them to take a bink, this is probably the best bet for you. Are you guys ready? We're down to number one. Okay guys, my number one item, can't live without it, had to have it, is the Infant Optics Baby Monitor. This is the system that we decided was the safest and the best for us. There are a few things that I absolutely love about this monitor. Number one is it has a color screen. I can move it wherever I need to to be able to see him. Also, it has night vision. One of the other things that I really like about it is that the light on the side is not super bright. Um, also, to save power, if you want to shut the video feed off, you just click this button on the top, and it goes off, and if you want it back on, you just click it again. Anyway, we got it for about $150, and it has been worth absolutely every penny. I would totally recommend this for everyone. Okay guys, so that is it, my top 10 newborn must-haves. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe down below and give us a thumbs up. And then let us know if there was anything that you think we missed on this list that you absolutely loved with your newborn. So thank you guys so much for watching. We hope to see you again next time. Bye.